Yo, what's up, happy people? I'm Robert Woo! Arrington. This is Deer Meat for dinner, and I got my boys. We're getting ready to run over to the Bahamas. We got Gabler. Yes, this sir, the alligator. <laughs> on board. This dude just won Survivor 43, and then donated the whole million dollars. Who does that? We got our man from Game Guard. This is Jason Phillips, and the one and only Brad Smith, straight out of Blaine, Washington with Silver Stag Knives. Can't forget old Sebastian. Old Sebastian. <laughs> hey, you know what they say, if you're not first, you're last. Let's go. Let's go. the harbor i was looking at it you know, they were coming in in sets almost like you'd be surfing on and i'm looking at it going robert knows what he's doing let's see what the boat can do and it was it was sliced right through it was pretty awesome that was the most pain-free trip to the bahamas i've ever <laughs> i know imagined. That's the bahamas, <laughs> what a great trip and a great boat here we are guys dude look at how beautiful this is this is so beautiful Okay, so first things first, we've got to go clear customs. Okay. Then we'll go check out our room. Cool. Get a game plan. Sounds let awesome. the party begin. Thanks, buddy. Let's do awesome, it. Awesome, man. Rock and roll. Right. Woo! Woo! This is one of my favorite things in the world. As soon as you get to the Bahamas, do your paperwork, eat some Kong salad. Eat some Kong salad, which is like ceviche on steroids. This is beautiful. It's spicy. It's fresh. It's just delicious, man. Did you eat some of this? Mike, can I share that with you? Bro, give me a little <laughs> of that. Okay. Better eat it before I go. So, so here's my question. Did you have anything like that on the island when you were doing oh Survivor? If we could have had, if we could have one container of this, we would have, we would have fought battles for that. <laughs> <laughs> What's the date today, 21st? 21st. 21st, yep. Y'all know how I always know when it's the 21st? How's that? That's the day Google sends us our check. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Paperwork's done. Time for customs. Is this your favorite part of the whole trip? Oh, uh, totally. <laughs> <laughs> Just being here is my favorite part. Right? So when you're here doing this, it, it's all good. It means the fun's about to begin. Exactly. 100%. So this is like the breakout party. Good job. Okay, just back straight up. Oh, yeah. Well done. This is what I want to know. She is a local amazing chef. She can cook all the Bahamian food. And if you think we should come here and do a video with her where she makes stew fish, Johnny cake, and all the local food that they eat here, drop a thumbs up, leave a comment because I love this lady. She's amazing. Yes. And uh, we're about to head out fishing. We got a bait well full of bait and you're riding shotgun. I think it's a little That's a nice one, dude. Dude. I think it's a little bigger than a Is it a milkfish? What do you think you got, Brett? What do you have here, dude? I don't know. Could be a huge snapper or maybe a grouper. I don't know. It hit it hard. Oh, I said yeah. I mean it just yeah. it just swallowed it. I hope I'm a little Bradley fish, man. Uh, yeah! I don't think so, man. Yeah! I don't think this is legit. This is legit. This is like fighting Cody right here. This is the forearm challenge. <laughs> but I think this fish might be bucking harder. Woo! What? Man. What is up with him and bucking? Look it's at bucking this. Oh. oh my God! There we go. That's a huge strawberry grouper. Oh, it's nice. beautiful. Look, Look at, at that! that. Look Hold at that, that fish, beautiful. Woo! Can I just grab him right behind here? Yep. Okay, I'm just gonna- Right there, get him. Just grab him right here, okay? Yep. What a gorgeous fish. Amazing day, man. This is so great. Thank you so much, brother. <laughs> you know what's awesome? Whenever it's a terrible day and everyone's happy. Man, my heart is pounding. <laughs> Seriously, it's like, that was an adrenaline rush. <laughs> Come on, sea bass! Team Frog Togs in the house. We got Bahama Willie hooked up and tight. Let's do it, baby. I'm on. 
this is going to be a really stinking good fish, bro. Don't yeah. let him get you under the boat. Yeah. Go to the front. Go to the front. Go to the front. Come on, man. Run, baby. Come on. There we go. Go grab me that gaff, please. Oh, boy. Awesome. What do you think it is? Holy cow, man. I'm going to say another big grouper. I think we got another big grouper here. It's coming up. Slow down. Or a big barracuda. I see color. Looks like a freaking huge African pompano. Where's the gaff? Here. The gaff, please. Hey, gaff. Get the gaff. Look in the look in the rod holder right behind the seat. Right behind the seat, it's sticking up. Dude, this looks like a humongous African pompano. Hurry, hurry! Quick, 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 quick! That's a giant African. That's a freaking stud. Hold this camera. Hold on. Give me this. Look at this. Easy. That's a fucking shit. That's a nice. Oh my God! What is it, Robert? What is you it? Nailed it, too. Great gas. Bro, yeah, yeah. look at that oh, fish. Oh, look, look at that. that. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> is that your best fish you ever caught? Oh, look so at my great. leg. It's shaking. Great job. Yeah, adrenaline. You got so much adrenaline. Good job, brother. Great fish. You got so Let it go, man. Big game fish. Good job. Yeah, that is a big game fish. Right well, here. big gamer. Terrific job. We're on now. <laughs> I got to give a huge shout out to Simrad right there. Using your electronics, I marked a couple rocks. I knew there were fish on that rock. I went back, we were trying to catch live bait. He dropped down a squid and boom. But if you're not watching your bottom machine, if you're not watching the echo, if you're not following your chart plotter, you, can, you can't repeat anything. So when you find it, you mark it, then you go back and you set up up current and good things happen. Oh yeah, he's taking a dive. This thing is a monster. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, this thing is a monster. Brad's got a barracuda. What do you got, Mike? I got, I'm gonna say a tuna, man. Oh my God, this guy is battling. Hold on, keep him right there, Brad. Keep him right there for a sec. Oh, come on, man, no way. Come on over here. Woo! Look at that. Stripping What'd a little you get line. Phillips? Stripping a little line. Does that drag good, Robert? Yep, perfect. Oh yeah, a little strawberry grouper, man. Look at this little guy. This is, what he's got is not a strawberry. Oh, what is this? Oh no, you do. You well, have. I'm saying what he has. Oh yeah, you got something cool, man. Let's check it out. Bradley! Bradley, come on! Whoa, whoa, <laughs> look at that! Silver Keep guy. it going, man, Yankee Crank. Bring that up and reel it down. Yank it up and reel it down. Yank it up We're and the reel players. it down. Turn that frown upside down. <laughs> That's right, brother. This is a beast. This is a toad. Come on, buddy. <laughs> Almost there. 700 feet up. How deep are these fish? All the way on the bottom. <laughs> Keep them on there. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, <sighs> big old fat strawberry. Oh, that's a nice grouper. Dude, that's a black grouper. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Woo! Look at that. Yeah. Oh, that is awesome. That's a yellowfin oh, grouper. Gosh. Oh, yellowfin. Dude, that is awesome. Dude, yellow my fins. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, Here Woo! That is a beautiful fish. Oh, I love Jason. it. Listen, this is no joke. We came to West End. We're staying at Old Bahama Bay. And it was rough this morning. It was storms everywhere. And we were like, ah, heck, we're just going to run up here. Caught some live bait, using some squid. And we're smashing it. Hey, who's ready for the pool later? Absolutely. Yeah. Cheers, man. Woo! So we got a Mystic, a Silky, and a Snowy all in the same drop. Hey, Evans Sinkers, you guys. Look at this. Piece. If you need if you need sinkers, Evan is the best guy around. He makes them himself and he will deliver them to your house. Man, what a special day we had out here today. Brad, we had a great Phillips. Day, and Robert's not only a great friend but a great guy. Yeah, oh but Robert Robert wasn't feeling well last night. But he made it anyway. 
barely got any sleep, wasn't feeling well, and we got up here and went out and not only did all this today, but he led all of this today. So cheers, Robert. We appreciate you, brother. Thank, Thank you, man. You. Appreciate Thank it. You. Okay, Three. Excellent. Okay. Right. 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 Thank you. You're welcome. Hey, so I truly believe that anytime you come over here and fish, one of the best things you can do is bring back some fish to the locals. That's right. You guys ever watch YouTube? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You ever watch Deer Meat for Dinner? Well, you're going to be on deer meat for dinner now. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. All right. We'll see y'all soon, okay? Guys. Take Bye. Care. All right, now Bye. we're going to go clean some fish. We're going to clean the boat. Do you want these barrows too? Oh, uh, no. Well, there'll be people in the dock. Okay. Spread it out. Yes, sir. Smart. So, uh, I love making people's day. Good morning, happy people. Just woke up, got a great night's sleep, had a wonderful meal last night over at the restaurant. Chef Patrick totally hooked it up. We had so much food, like the ocean is flat calm. We've got a bunch of bait and we're gonna be heading to the north. See if we can't get tight, y'all. This is the salt life and we're living it. You guys need a ride? You know it, brother man. Let's go. Damn me for dinner. You know it. <laughs> The one thing that I love about Old Bahama Bay is the amenities. Yes. You know, you've got <laughs> you've got the pool, awesome rooms. You got your guy here. What's your first name again? Danny. Danny. Runs you around in the golf cart. We're gonna go buy some hats. I actually just lost my hat yesterday running, so I gotta get me a new hat, and I've always wanted an Old Bahama Bay hat. You'll be getting that. You know it, my man. Who are you gonna give a shout out to? Who are you saying hey to? Damn meat for dinner. I want to say hello to my family. Let's let y'all know I'm on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go get a hat, y'all. Thanks, Danny. Appreciate that, man. Look at the marina. That's where we stay, right over there. If you come here, sunscreen, hat, and sunglasses. Three things you can't forget. Bait sold here. Ooh, look at this. Who does not love a good shop? Everyone loves a good shop. That'll work. I'm about to go climb that little rock right there. The alligator needs a place to sunbathe. <laughs> Looks pretty good. I think I'm gonna go. Go! Woo! <laughs> That's what you call a wild bunch of buddies right there. They literally jumped out of the boat and climbed up on Memory Rock. Drop a thumbs up. If you were in this boat, you would jump out and climb up on that rock and get a pick too. What not head standing? first, not head first. Bro. Yeah, it's the first time I ever snorkeled, driver. Is that really? It is the first time. No Dude, way. you did great. I went underwater. That was great. We don't you do did that in awesome. Bernie, Texas. That was so fun. Fresh water. I mean, midday wake up right there. Better than a better than coffee. Okay. Man, that was. Can you believe that rock just sits out there? That is probably seen pirates. That rock. Yeah, for sure. I mean, seriously. Dude, it's hammer time. I got a beast on here. <laughs> <laughs> I just hope you get it in before it's just a head. <laughs> be a big old shark is gonna be looming on this. this. Is too one. big for a shark. Dude, it's hammer time. I got a beast on here. Man, just stand tall, keep pulling, keep those forearms going, man. He's doing great. Now, the key right now, which we learned the hard way yesterday, is allow a little bit of drag to come here so the fish runs and doesn't pop the line. <laughs> learned the hard way. 
Oh, come on, man. No way. I love this how is, you played that, Brad. Seriously. Did this you is big. Fun? Wear it out. Don't overdo okay. it. Have fun with it. I'm backing the boat up, trying to get it around this fish right now. I think he got us into a rock, and I'm just trying to change the angle of attack. Yeah, I think a shark might have hammered him. I just oh. felt all the energy, kind of. I bet we got half the fish. Oh, oh he just broke off. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Gabler, yeah, you got this. Slow and steady, baby. Oh, dude, he is crushing it. He's taking out lines. He's still. a huge fish. Let Give him it. go. Him take out He's line. still taking out some line, man. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Here he goes. We're getting some ground back here. All right. Here we Doing go. good, baby. Oh, my goodness. He's pulling. Do not, hey, don't reel against the drag when it's either you're getting or he's getting, but you're not both getting. Deal. Thank you, sir. I decided to stop and fish for just a minute right on the bank and second bait, we catch a daggum oh sailfish, God. which is pretty cool. Gabler, is this your first sail? This is my first sail, and this is a whopper. Oh my God. Here we go. Oh yeah, buddy. When you reel down, think about you're trying to lift him with something very gen gently. Then you reel down and you're like gently there. What do you think about that? Luckily, I got Robert Arrington in my ear. You do not have a better, a better coach Woo! in this moment than right now. Boy, he's fighting hard. My buddy Michael, he's got the fish of a life on right now. We're all rooting for him to pull this thing in, and we know you can do it, bro. You're doing a great job. Keep it up, man. Thank you, brother. I love I you, man. It, man. Love you, bro. Dude, we have so much fun. I mean, life is great, and it just keeps getting better. Gently, everything is gentle now. Everything is gentle. We have them right where we want them. Keep them coming. We got to catch them right here. Uh, go. Keep them coming. Keep them coming. Keep them coming. Keep it. Reel, just reel. Don't pump. Just reel. Just reel. He's going to break. Not okay. reel. Okay, let him run. I can't do it. Let him run. Perfect. Follow Robert's rules on that one. If it's taken. We got a lot of ground back, though, during that period, guys. Good. Oh, and uh -huh. he's gone. He's gone. There was. He was getting chased by a shark right there is what was happening. Yeah. So what what happened there? I know you were saying pull him in. I was going fast. I know. So what was happening right there? Due to there being eight million sharks off the coast of Florida, we fought and fought and fought and fought. Final last one. That fish started going like uh -huh. that. I believe a shark actually had him. had him. Yeah. Then we got his head back and they came and got his head. When you were just reeling and reeling, uh -huh. you were reeling his head and they okay. came and grabbed that. Right. Yeah. And that Robert, awesome, you did an amazing bro. job, but we just didn't surge. No we were close. We were close. We were but so with close. that, folks, what do you say we run back to Florida, All eat right. some good food, and have we'll a great day? Let's go do it, man. Let's go do it. What a day. We got fish stories everywhere. Right on, brother. Thank you. Oh, it was awesome. It was so much fun. Cody will sweat off your beard. Cody got away this time. Cody got away. Cody got it. Cody, we're tied now. We'll have to do a tiebreaker somewhere, bud. You, me, someplace hard. We'll do it. We'll figure it out. <laughs> this guy's crazy. We're going to Florida, you guys. It's a beautiful day. We time. had so Thank much fun, you, dude. My dad calling. He's been checking on me since I was born. <laughs> Hold on. Hello? Y'all been home yet? <laughs> we just pulled in the inlet. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm all right. Uh, we literally just came in the inlet. We stopped out there on the edge for a second, fought a big sailfish for about an hour, broke him off right at the boat. Sharks came in and ate him. But yeah, whatever. Hey, let us throw this boat on a trailer, and uh, we're gonna run out of the house and cook some fish. Oh, bye. Bye bye. That's cool. That I think it's cool that my dad literally has this. So we always have this deal, like. If you're going somewhere, you need to be where you're going by sunset, or we need to figure things out. Yeah. Sarah will be the next one calling. Sun's going down. Uh -huh. She's gonna be like, okay, I need to know something. So, yeah. call her, and we're heading home. Gotta grab it. Yep. Okay, good. Here we go. Save somebody from running into this in the dark. Can you imagine this thing? Yeah, that would sink a boat. This could be a problem. So that was a good little good deed to end the day out. That's good. All right, you guys, as you can see, it is storming cats and dogs, but we made it back from the Bahamas. This is what I do on every single trip whenever I have people come. I want a very short answer. What was your favorite moment of the trip? Favorite moment of the trip, hands down, hooking that sailfish, man. That was unbelievable. You guys were all in my ears. You're giving me great advice. We had that thing on there for over an hour until the sharks got it. Favorite moment of the trip? Catching a bad to the bone yellowfin grouper and then being able to eat it that night at the restaurant in the Bahamas. That was the best fish I ever had. I'm biased because it was probably my fish that we ate, but it was great. <laughs> it, was it wasn't the fish that I caught, it was the hammer time beast that got away. <laughs> So it was just great. And hanging with you boys was the best. Definitely, when I caught that pompano, which I never thought I was gonna get it. But the most epic part for me, all this trip, it was amazing sharing the time with each one of you guys. The right, memories that, that I create on me on this trip, it's yeah. something that I will never forget. And Aww. that's what mattered for me. Yeah, that's, that's fantastic. Amazing. Oh, that's Sebastian, good. we love you, man. What's your favorite part of the trip, babe? Oh. You know, I loved when we were on the boat and I caught all that yellowtail. <laughs> yeah. On a better note. Let's cut some fish. That's one of those silky snappers. We catch these in between 600 and 1200 feet deep. And we're gonna do it using my silver stag, woods and water. Take that knife, come in behind the scales. Cut right up to the back of the base, base of the neck. Then you're just gonna follow the Skin right along the backbone there. Wipe the scales off. Look how perfect this will be. Pop it up and over the rib cage, just like that. I always turn my fish around and cut down, just like that. Look how beautiful that fish is. Then all you have to do, hold this skin right there. Beautiful. Done. Cut your pin bones out. Beautiful filet. Now let's cut some fresh herbs out of the herb garden. We're gonna take out some Italian parsley, some thyme, a little bit of basil here, and a little bit of dill. Super fun, very easy recipe. A Little bit of olive oil, a little bit of sweet cream butter, We're gonna go very easy with just a little bit of salt and pepper. You're just gonna let this cook for just a minute. You wanted to get that nice little caramelized golden brown edges. This meat is very delicate, light, and wonderful. It doesn't take a lot of time, and sometimes flipping it is the hardest part. While the fish finishes up, I sliced up some of my basil and parsley. Now I will take the thyme, a little thyme, and I just peel the little leaves right off the thyme. And that's gonna add that flavor. These are all wonderful herbs, fresh out of the garden. They're gonna give it a nice, fresh, lovely taste. Now check it out. We're gonna take some rice, just like this. Put a nice bed of rice. Take your piece of fish. Put it right on top here. Ooh, perfect. We've got all of our butter in there. Let's throw our herbs in here. Ooh. 
This is gonna happen really, really, really fast. All the herbs just fell in love right there. Take this. Beautiful. And ladies and gentlemen, that is fresh Bahamian silky snapper sauteed in a little bit of herb butter. Fresh out of the garden. Now, anytime I run all the way across the ocean with a bunch of friends, we go, we come back safely. Each and every time, I always thank God on the way over and on the way back and for the food. Lord, thank you so much for this day. Thank you for this food. Thank you for a safe crossing and a wonderful time. Please look after us and guide us. Keep us all safe. Please nourish us food to our body. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. You guys, it's so important to be thankful, which I promise you, I am. I'm thankful that you took the time to watch this entire video. It's probably gonna be long, and there's no way I could show you all the good times that we had, but here's to an amazing trip. Dude, grab that, oh my gosh. Mm. Oh my God. <laughs> just, the, just the taste, just the taste. It makes me feel I wanna go back one more time. <laughs> That's so good. And if you're wondering, Crocker and Chloe, they've been up in Kentucky. They found some really cool little place to hunt. They killed a couple turkeys and they had a wonderful weekend together. Me and the boys, we had a great time. They all had early flights and we had a wonderful day yesterday. But, um. Here's to a great time. Thanks for being a part of it. That's all I got for now. Take care, God bless, and we are gone.